Three o'clock. Got something on the radar at three. That's nine. Where are you putting your 12? Straight ahead, number three, 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 three. So you survived in this industry for so long. So long, I don't. It's amazing. Amazing. You've done so many great movies, and I was just wondering, how do you? Do you have any strategies? No. Of how you no. kind of? I've done everything wrong, according mm -hmm. to most plans of how to survive in this business. I don't have a publicist. I don't. I mean, I've chosen things that I thought were interesting. Nobody wanted me to do Rocky Horror Show. You know, there were so many films that everybody. You know, said if you play a mother now, when I did uh, Pretty Baby, then you'll no longer be sexy. You can't play a mom so young. No one will want to cast you in anything else. You know, they, definitely the nun thing was weird. Don't do a movie with death in the title. I mean, there have been a lot of rules. I, I don't. I don't think that you can really have a strategy about anything in life. I really think the only thing you can know is that it's uncontrollable. And whatever you, I'm here because all my plans failed. I mean, really, you just just can't. If you think that there's a way that you can make the right decisions in this business, uh, fate will shoot you down. I mean, even with relationships, things that look good on paper don't necessarily pan. I mean, like you just never know. And I think probably one of my greatest talents is just when something crosses my path like this did out of the blue um, I can change direction and I'm flexible and adaptable and I hope that I've given my kids uh, that trait because I think the way the world is now that's probably the best you can do yeah you seem like such a free-spirited person and you don't age I think you just like you have this aura about you, and I think so many people. Well, I came up that. as a hippie, stoner. You know, I mean, I'm still probably that, uh, but I think it's just in my nature. I mean, I'm the oldest of nine, and I can't oh, wow. say that anybody else has my disposition necessarily. Um, and somebody asked me the other day, "Has your ha have has your fame changed throughout the years?" And, and I don't even. I've never really thought of it as fame, you know, I've never had, I've always thought of this as a means to an end but not an end and I think that helped me a lot. And I think being a character actor opens up possibilities so much more than uh, seeing yourself as a leading lady or an ingenue. I mean, when I started out as at 20, most of those gals are not around anymore. It's very hard to make the transition for guys too, from being a juvenile. I think Johnny Depp has done it. Mm -hmm. Maybe Brad Pitt is, you know, to to go from that to a leading man. And um, the ones that have survived, the Jeff Bridges of the world, are character actors. Are people who took, and it's fun. I mean, why would you want to do the same thing? Why would you want to play yourself? I'm not charismatic enough. I want to play, you know different people it it, it 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 educates you it gives you this enforced compassion it, it really I mean you go and live places that you wouldn't I'm, I'm I'm a victim of inertia like everybody else so acting really forces me to come out of my shell forces me to learn about baseball or the south or the death penalty and you know it's a great job what you really want and go after it grandma let's go woman Grandma, I don't know where I'm going. I've always wanted to go to Niagara Falls. How about a beer? No. Whiskey? No. Oh, my God. You're pregnant. I'm driving a car. I mean, I don't know that grandmothers see themselves as grandmothers. I think they just see these children having children, and then they still stay, stay the same. I mean, I don't feel any different, and I'm about to be a grandmother in yeah. August. And I was uh, a grandmother once before in a movie, but a very different kind of grandmother. Um, I, 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 it's like when you're a parent, you don't really change. You just have different jobs. Um, it was certainly a blow to your ego to look in the mirror <laughs> and see everything that you've been trying to hide accentuated and, you know. Uh, but that even happened on Dead Man Walking. I mean, the first time you go without makeup on camera and with a bad haircut and baggy clothes, you know. You, but in the end, it really makes, helps you be a different person, and that's, what you're, that's the fun of it. So are you excited to become a grandmother? Are you so excited? It's just poof, completely mind blowing because I remember. Do you have any children? No. The first time I was, I, I every time I was a mother. I mean, no matter how much you prepare yourself for it, it's so sci-fi, and 
you see your belly and you see the movement and you see all the different things and still you can't really wrap your mind around what that means any more than you can what it means to die I think those are the two big things birth and death right it's just um, I mean it's a cliche to say it's a miracle but it's crazy how that works and how a woman's body works and how you do it when you don't even know what you're doing really no matter how much you read so now to have a daughter that's having a daughter is just the best I mean just I just love that whole idea uh, but I can't really I'm gonna be there and I'm sure that it'll seem it already seems sci-fi she you know we've been seeing a lot of each other because she lives in Los Angeles and um, you know just seeing her body change and everything she's so healthy and uh, the baby's so strong and uh, you know, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to it. Uh huh. What have you ever done that's that cool? I watched Neil Armstrong walk on the moon. On his bike. Neil.